meantime, I can tell you a little bit about the science behind this. Basically, you have a lead screw driving this bed up and down. And the lead screw position is known by the microcontroller in the back of the machine. What will happen is after this nozzle gets the tip cleaned off, there will be a nice clean metal surface there. That metal surface will interact with the metal surface on the bed in four distinct points. Now, as that's happening, and we'll see this in a quick bit, the microcontroller in the back is memorizing where that lead screw is. There will be four distinct positions of that lead screw corresponding to the bed. Because no matter how much we think we can perfectly level that bed by hand, it will always be a little higher, a little low on one side or the other. That's the beauty with auto leveling. It knows that. It's accurate down to less than a tenth of a millimeter, which is frankly finer than we can do by hand. So what's happening now is when this nozzle is fully cleaned off, it's going to come over here and that lead screw is capable of raising and lowering in thousands of an inch. Because of that, we can ex achieve extreme precision on the auto leveling process. So let's look real closely at this first shot here. See the nozzle coming down there? makes contact with the plate, you know, right away, as soon as it makes contact, as soon as that metal touches, the position of the lead screw is memorized in the microcontroller. Now here's the second touch. That lead screw is at a slightly different position than it was over here because the bed is never perfectly level. Now the neat thing with this particular auto leveling system is that this printer could be crooked when it prints, that bed could be crooked when it prints, and the microcontroller will automatically adapt the 3D print just in case of that. Now what's happening first here, after we've established our auto leveling sequence, the virtual plane is being projected onto our 3D printed part and the filament is now being primed out of the nozzle so that there's enough pressure to start the 3D print. In a second here, you'll see some red filament come out at the end of the nozzle to show you that. There it's coming right now, and so that means it's almost ready to start the 3D print. Now, and you can see that ABS plastic is coming out of the nozzle is sticking really well to the glass plate. Why is that? Because of that wolf bite solution is adhering the two together. And now if you look real closely, we can see actually a model of teeth being made right here on this 3D printer. There is absolutely nothing you have to do for hours until this printer is finished. Once the print's finished, the bed will lower down to the bottom, the lights will turn off, and you will be ready to get your 3D printed part.